In today's video, I'm going to explain to you why I think Bitcoin is going to make it to over $100,000, not only this year, but by September. So let's get into it. Black Box Trading. I'm your host, JT, also known as Blue the Bear. And here on the channel, we focus on Bitcoin fundamentals and technicals. Today, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin. I want to talk about the price. I'm going to show you three different ways that I am drawing the conclusion that this next impulse out of this consolidation is going to bring us to around $100,000. Let's get into it. All right, so if you've been following us on the channel for a while, you've probably already been introduced to this Wyckoff accumulation that we have been mapping along here. And uh, we're currently sitting at our spring and uh, we, we have bounced off our spring rather. A lot of the, the whole market was really, really bearish and I was here screaming at you, this is a bullish move. It's time to take some allocation. It's time to lean to the bull side. If you took those trades, you're very happy and uh, you're welcome for that. If you're not, subscribed already please hit the subscribe button because uh we take the other side of the trade and we are often right if you want to buy the bottoms and sell the tops you got to be counter narrative and that's what we try to achieve here so uh the spring beautiful price action off the spring got above our creek line sorry i'm getting a little tongue-tied there we got above our creek line beautiful lps and we're ready to take on and challenge the upper resistance here but all of that is not uh, leading us to how we can get a price objective. Now, this is the Wyckoff method. One of the methods for achieving price, one of the methods that Richard Deke Wyckoff used to kind of predict a reasonable range for price was employing the use of a point and figure chart. So we are going to go over to the top here and we are gonna scroll down to point and figure. We're gonna turn the point and figure chart on. Let's get this a little bit easier to see. Let's, uh, let's actually bring this over to the other side and make it a little smaller. Now, point and figure charts, if you are unfamiliar, are very different from candlestick charts, okay? On a candlestick chart, every candle represents a unit of time. If you are on the daily chart, every candle represents a day. If you are on the hourly chart, every candle represents an hour. Point and figure charts are very different in the sense that they do not take time into account. They only take price into account. So for every one of these X's and every one of these O's, each X represents a $450 move in Bitcoin. You can see that up here, uh, PNF traditional 450. It will change depending on the asset that you're looking at, but for Bitcoin, it's 450. So each one of these X's on the way up represents a $450 move. Each one of these O's on the way down represents a $450 down move. How do you go from an up to a down? You need a price discrepancy of three boxes. It's called a three box reversal, meaning that you need a uh, you need three $450 moves to change the direction. Now, what Richard D. Wyckoff would do to get his price objectives is he would calculate the value of a trading range based off of how many columns were in that trading range. So here is our well-established uh, trading range. I'm going to go from the buyer's climax, and I'm going to drag that over to where we can expect a breakout. So we are counting preemptively. If we continue to trade sideways and then get a breakout, the targets that I'm talking about today can actually end up being higher targets. So today we're talking about 100K. Uh, if it trades sideways a little bit longer, we can actually get over 100K. So uh, moving this over to the side, we see that we have 28 bars, 28 columns inside of this consolidation if we were to break out right here. So what we are going to do is we are going to make a little uh, math formula here. So let's just get our text box and we are going to do 28 columns times three times the box size, which is 450. So that formula again is uh, the amount of columns, 28 times the reversal. We have a three box reversal. So times three 
and then we'll times that by the box size, which is $450. That gives us $37,800. So the value of this consolidation is worth $37,800. Dollars. Okay, so now that we have that number, we can then give a an approximate price projection for the next move up. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of room here. Let's bring this over here, bring that over there. Is I'm going to pull up this and I'm going to go from the low of the spring. So the lowest price. And I'm going to pull that up till we're about 37.8. Give or take. Give or take a couple. Okay. Then I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that again. And I'm going to drag that up to the bottom of the LPS. So let's just get that dialed in there. And that gives us a range. So let's grab our uh, rectangle tool. And let's mark down our range. So this in the Wyckoff method is how you determine a price objective. Okay. And that price objective is anywhere from, let's say, $104,000 to $94,000 for this current consolidation. Uh, for the last method that I'm going to use to kind of give us a uh, comparison here is I'm going to use Fibonacci's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a quick fib and I'm going to go from the market cycle high to the market cycle low. And what I've done here is I've got my kind of golden uh, pocket here and I've added the 1.272. This is a very traditional uh, price objective from the Forex market, but you can apply it to the macros of the crypto as well. And that kind of gives you the general area where we had kind of a slowdown. So um, we're going to take that that move, that 1.272, and we're going to pull that fib from the market cycle high of this previous cycle to the market cycle low. And that again is giving us $104,000. Really, really nice confluence here between uh, the Wyckoff method and the Fibonacci method of achieving price. So, so that's some pretty interesting, look at how well those two line up. They're, they're almost picture perfect uh, between the Wyckoff method and the Fibonacci at the 1.272. They, they, this is the first time I've seen this, by the way. I, I didn't plan this, but yeah, those are lining up exactly um, in place. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Now, what, before I go, why do I think this will happen in September? Well, I think the next month, I think August is going to be a rally month. And I think that rally will con conclude around September. When Bit Bitcoin spends most of its time trading sideways, it doesn't actually spend a lot of time in an uptrend. So when it has a breakout, it'll spend about four to six weeks in that breakout condition. So in about four to six weeks, if we get a rally here on the new month, um, I expect the next price objective to have already been reached. So the prices that I'm talking about right now, in my opinion, are going to hit somewhere around September. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys are interested in getting a free Bitcoin trading bot, this is a free scalping bot. This bot has been working for one week. We launched this on the 22nd. We put 0.1 BTC in. It now has 0.123 BTC. So it's already made 23%. Uh, this is entirely free. Check out the links down below if you want to get uh, signed up and in the group today and check out the QR code popping up at the bottom of uh, underneath my webcam right here. That'll get you into the Discord where we share tons of live trades, entries, exits, take profits. If you don't know anything about trading crypto, you're going to want to be in that group. That is all the time I have for today. If you guys enjoyed this content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, please trade safe. It is jungle out there. Peace.